Hello there, I'm Thundaga, and this is going to be a quick tutorial covering the Delta Speedup plugin. First we'll install the plugin, and then we'll cover the ways that you can modify the plugin script. Then we'll look into how you can use events and script commands to toggle the speedup on and off. And finally, we'll test it all out in-game. Let's get into it! The first thing we need to do is install the plugin, which can be found here on its EV Essentials resource page, made by Mashiro Sakura. There'll be a link to this page in the description down below, and as always when using plugins, be sure to properly credit all of the creators. Now we do the same process that we always do for plugins, where we click go to download, and then we download it and extract it, and then throw the folder into our game's plugins folder. With this step done, and the Delta Speedup folder inside of our game's plugins folder, we can already enable Speedup in-game. After installing the plugin, you may need to make a new game save file, because there are some settings that determine whether you can activate Speedup or not. If you don't want to make a new game file, what you can do is go into the options menu and you can see that now there are some speedup settings added here. The speedup settings are always or only battles, if you only want speedup to apply to the battles. This is useful because sometimes if you speed up other events or cutscenes, it can mess with the timing of things. Here you can also play with the battle speed settings. Let's make it so that way the speedup applies always though, and then what we can do is close out of here, and now it will have those settings set in our save file. Now as we're walking around, if we press the Q key, we can activate speedup, which right now is going to 1.5 speed, and then if we press Q again, we can go into 2 times speed. And look, we can see it's even applying to our battles. Then, if we press Q again, we will revert back to 1.0 regular speed. If we ever want to change the speed values though, we can modify this in the plugin script itself. If we open the main script of the plugin in our code editor of choice, mine is Visual Studio, like we covered in an earlier tutorial, then we can begin to modify things. At the top here, we can see there is Speed Options, which is set to True. This determines if those speed settings that we saw earlier will appear in the Options menu. Next, and in my opinion, the most important, are the Speed Up stages here. This is an array of numbers that determines the intensity of the Speed Up, as well as how many speed modes there are. By default, there are three numbers in here, so there are three modes. We go from 1, to 1.5, and then to 2. If we ever wanted to modify this to speed the game up even more, or have a different number of speed modes, then this would be the spot. We could make it so that way this default speed is still 1, but then the next speed is 2, and then the speed after that is 3, and then we could add a fourth speed if we want at like something crazy like 10. Here's how a speed up of 10 would look in game by the way, this one is pretty intense. If you wanted to, you could also use a speed value of something like 0.5 to slow the game down. This would make the game run at half speed. As an important note, only the first three options in the speed up stages array here currently appear in the settings menu. We can see this in the battle speed menu handler here at the bottom of the script. The parameters in here are speed up stages index 0, and then index 1, and index 2. These are those first three indexes in the array. If we wanted to add our fourth option, which would be index 3, we could also do that just like this. If we copy the second index here, do a comma, and then paste, and then change this index to be speed stages index 3, we will now see four options in the options menu. The next thing in our speedup config is the game speed variable. This tracks which speed index we're currently at, and is default set at 0. This means that when we start our game, we'll be at a speed of 1, because that's index 0 of the speedup stages here. Whenever we press the Q key to toggle our speedup stage, it will increment this game speed variable by 1, and then check to see if that index exists in the speedup stages array. So we'll go from index 0 to index 1, so then we'll be at a speed of 2, and then a speed of 3 after we press Q again, and then a speed of 0.5, and so on and so forth. If no next index exists, then it'll just reset back to index 0. So if we're at 0 0.5 and then we press Q, then we'll go back to speed 1. We can also force set our game speed index through an event by using this variable. I've gone ahead and set up a test event here to show this off. If we use a script command and set $GameSpeed equals 2, that will force set our speed array index to 2, which in our case will set our movement speed to 3x speed. With this event, when we talk to this NPC, we can choose the exact speed index we'd like to be set at, 0, 1, 2, or 3. The next thing in the speedup config is the can toggle setting. By default, this is true, so when we press the Q key, we'll toggle our speed to the next value. If we ever set this to false, then nothing will happen when we press the Q key. This setting can also be modified in events, and I've gone ahead and set up another example event. If we set up a script command and say $CanToggle equals false, then we can no longer change our speed up by pressing the Q key. 
In theory, you could do some interesting things in events by combining these two. You could disable speed toggling and then force the speed to a certain setting, and then during the event, you could modify the speed to another index, for example, 0.5 speed for a slow motion or something going on in the event, and then at the end of the event, you could re-enable speed toggling and then set the speed back to default. The last setting here is the refresh events for turbo, which you don't have to worry about changing ever. This is just used after toggling speed to then refresh events and make sure that they play nicely with everything else in the update function. I've never touched this, and I would say you don't have to worry about it either. For my personal preferences, I enjoy three speed stages, set to 1, 2, and 3. I mostly use the speed up for battles, because those can take an eternity if you get the wrong conditions. I also generally believe that it's good to give the players more options here rather than less, so if for your game you'd like to have even more speed stages and keep the toggle and options all true, then that's great. And that does it for this quick tutorial on the Delta Speed Up plugin. This should help a lot for speeding up the slower moments both in testing and in-game playthroughs. Thank you again to all the plugin contributors, because I know that this has definitely saved me a ton of time. And thank you so much for watching! If you learned something from this tutorial, please remember to like and subscribe. Have a good one!